Greetings metal community, it's the Roger back with another collection update, death metal this time, and yes, uh, it's the um, nice logo of uh, Parallax Occlusion, and this is Vapor Chamber, a new album you say, no it's not, this is the last uh, release by this band, uh, it's the, um, yeah, compiled of all their stuff that they have released on the EPs, and also there are uh, two new songs that uh, I don't think have been released before. So sadly, another band that uh, you know has, um, yeah, gave up on us. Uh, just active, I uh, think about five years. It's not the first band uh, this year that has um, stopped playing. Um, it's a shame, but I mean, if you don't want to play, you don't want to play. But a great band, and I'm sure a lot of you have heard the. Uh, the uh, Parallax Seclusion uh, EPs. Uh, then a tape that I picked up from uh, Wang Kwan Records. This is uh, Ghost from uh, Poland. Uh, this originally came out in '89. Uh, uh, kind of trashy death metal. Uh, pretty good. I uh, just threw this in with an. An order that I had, so I haven't listened to this a lot, but uh, a cool one. And the main reason why I went to Hong Kong this time was to um, get me a copy of uh, Lucifixion. Uh, this is uh, called um, Engulfed. I indulged in the massive, indulge in the macabre. Uh, uh, yeah, sorry for that. This is an old album, I don't remember quite when it came out, 96. Been on my want list for a, a long time. Uh, about 10 years at least uh, since I discovered this. Um, there's been some OG, uh, I don't know, remember if it was only released on tape back in the days, but uh, probably a CD as well. Um, but finally I got a reissue. This is just um, another one of these uh, great albums or good albums that you never heard of back in the days. And um, Yeah, and sometimes uh, collectors like me, we are uh, when you can't get hold of them, you really want them. And, uh, but uh, this is a good album and uh, I'm really happy to have it in the collection. Uh, again, this is Sounds like early 90s, even though it's 96, death metal, a little bit trashy, and um, you know, do-it-yourself cover maybe, but uh, yeah, check it out, I will link it up below, as always, turn down the music a little bit more, uh, also picked up a new EP by Pestifer from France, I do believe, I'm not gonna... That's my whole salary on it, but uh, great technical uh, death metal from um, from these guys. Uh, been um, uh, two full ones, I think, prior to this one, or maybe an EP and a full length. Uh, they kind of started uh, more like you know uh, technical in in death, uh, like death uh, technical, but uh, they. I would say this is way more towards uh, Gorgot's, uh, you know, um, obscure um, kind of that level of technicality. Uh, they don't overdo it, and uh, it's a really good um, EP. This, so uh, if you like technical, uh, uh, not that brutal, but uh, death metal, uh, go and check Pastifer out. The great, great band. Also. Um, found a copy of um, a, yeah, the first Stargazer album, Screams, that uh, tore this sky. I don't remember when this was originally released, but um, yeah, it doesn't say on the back. Uh, Australian guys, pretty well known band. Um, this album, I mean, they are known for kind of merging black metal, thrash metal and death metal. On this album they kind of more separated from song to song I feel. There's a, a couple of thrashy songs, there's a couple of more black metal songs and, and some death metal songs. 
uh, nowadays they are kind of infusing everything into one song but uh, this is kind of more divided up but uh, it's a killer uh, album so if you haven't heard this and like Stargazer you should check it out because I really enjoyed this one as well and another uh, I've seen a lot of people show this one I even think Liam had it on his list last year Hers Trapes Across the Empty Graves Great uh, Death Doom I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have heard it already. I just a little bit late to the party with this one. And uh, yeah, just uh, quality uh, death doom. Uh, there's nothing more to say about that. If you like that style, I'm sure you have uh, listened to this band. Yeah, the rest of the stuff is vinyl. I kind of been um, building up a. Uh, I've shown some of these before on CD, but um, I mean, vinyl is more fun. This is reincarnated from uh, Thailand, I think. Uh, this is a, it's a full length, but it's a short one. It's Death Doom, so you probably call it an EP. But uh, five songs, uh, I think it's kind of around a half an hour long, but uh, great, great stuff. I really enjoy the drum sound on this one. It's kind of murky, like uh, dragging death metal. It's kind of this, um, uh, yeah, you kind of feel that they're just holding you back a little bit, or holding it back a little bit when they play. I also love the panning of the drums when he plays the drums. They kind of change from one speaker to another, uh, especially the two first songs. That's very prominent in the in the sound uh, great uh, vocals as well you know this is this is a murky and kind of dirty of course on black vinyl uh, death doom uh, really good one uh, side a is slightly better than side b for me but i it has to do with the drumming um, on the first two songs are more interesting yeah, for me, but a uh, very cool uh, sound on it. Very, very well balanced. And you know me, um, I, I like it when stuff are balanced in sound. So um, I picked up a brand new one. This is an Archon from um, Brazil with um, something Biasot. Uh, yeah, some Latin shit. I don't know. Uh, this is a kind of a um, slipcase cover. You know, this is the um, close-up on the artwork. Pretty cool stuff. It has a nice booklet as well. In the lyrics. Um, it's very. Kind of a bit claustrophobic at parts. It's, it's this kind of, um, in a way, you get the same feeling as Portal. They don't sound like Portal, but the same kind of this very intense, uh, very, uh, as I said, sometimes very claustrophobic music, uh, dark, a bit murky and dirty, of course, uh, as uh, those bands are, but. Uh, uh, really like the production on this compared to the previous one which I thought was not very well balanced production on this is way better they do have kind of also a kind of a chilling black feel black and feeling to it as well but for me this is just yeah dark deep uh, brutal um, evil sounding death metal um, and I uh, very, very, uh, as I said, claustrophobic and intense uh, records in a way. Uh, uh, pretty well balanced, uh, you know, tempo wise. Uh, There's a lot of tempo changes going on, but uh, overall, it's just a, a very nasty uh, album. I think I've shown the CD for this one. This is uh, Necrom from, uh, yeah, I would say Ukraine. Uh, even though they sound very Swedish. I would say, you know, fans for Entombed, Grave, 
Um, they're not copies directly, but but it is in the vein of that. This is a very cool center label. Um, but also kind of they do have some synth, uh, especially the open, opening track is kind of more hypocrisy, you know, like fourth dimensional in that era. Uh, you know, great artwork. Uh, I don't remember who made this cover, but... Yeah, can't see it. There's a poster of it as well, so or, or of the band. So uh, yeah, but uh, great stuff. If you if you like that Swedish, uh, it's not the uh, it's, it's, you know uh, sharpest HM2, but uh, it's, it's more heavy HM2. Uh, great songs. Uh, do have some kind of more a little bit of that. Uh, a little bit more epic feel like hypocrisy I would say but but for the most part I would say grave and and two would be um, okay um, pointers on uh, where the music is uh, but uh, yeah really good good stuff uh, had this for a long time I'm not sure if I've shown it before but uh, I can show it again because it's a great album it's uh, Stryknos with uh, a mother's curse uh, do you believe these guys are from Denmark? And uh, this is also kind of dirty, uh, slightly brutal. Uh, I mean, the Danish bands are brutal, but the, these guys are doing it perfectly. Um, I'm not comparing these to like Undergang and stuff like that. This is more. Um, it's a bit uh, cleaner in the production, and, uh, but still uh, very heavy, uh, great, great album. I haven't listened to this in a couple of months, I need to spin it again, but it's a great album. Also picked up a new, ba new album from Oz uh, called uh, Tihom, I think they're from Czechia or something. This album is very dark, um, very repetitive as well. Uh, I find this pre previous release was um, better for me, had more energy in it. This is kind of more just uh, very repetitive and, and heavy and, and uh, dark death metal. Uh, I do like it, uh, you know, repetitive stuff, but. Uh, I kind of had wanted it to sound a little bit more like the first one, but still it's a good uh, good release. But uh, if you're gonna check out us, uh, go and check out the first album first before you go into this. It is if you like, you know, dark, dark, heavy death metal. Um, I'm sure you would enjoy that as well. Also picked up a vinyl edition of this. I showed the um, Celestial Burden. Sheets. This is a uh, reissue from uh, Floga Records. Uh, you know, I love this band. Uh, great, great uh, death metal. Doesn't sound like anything else. Uh, pretty intense vocals. Kind of uh, high. Uh, I won't say the vocals are uh, death, but uh, the music is very, in a way, progressive and very variated. And um, yeah, just a killer album. Um, Cool to have it on vinyl uh, as well as the CD, but uh, yeah, I, li I like my dark uh, millennium, so uh, nothing more to say there. This one I saw on uh, Ken's, uh, you know, a demo from Ken's Death Metal Crypt uh, a couple of years ago. This is uh, Finnish um, uh, Death Metal from 1993, uh, demo, five songs. Uh, Pretty good stuff. Um, Swedish, uh, Finnish sounding and uh, death metal from the 90s. Who won't like that? Uh, so, uh, yeah, go and check it out.
also picked up a vinyl copy of this. Um, this is uh, Ascended Dead from uh, uh, 14. First, uh, I think the first EP by these guys. Uh, again, there's a lot of dark uh, death metal in this update. I don't know why, but um, yeah, you probably know Ascended Dead anyway, so um, I just wanted to have this as well. Uh, I showed this in a tape update a while back. Uh, this is um, the Bonus Mortis. I I liked it so much that I picked up the uh, album as well. You know, uh, Blood Blood Harvest, great label. Uh, this is US uh, more modern US death metal. Uh, really good stuff. Uh, a bit catchy as well, but uh, you know, juicy vocals. Heavy riffs, uh, great, great stuff, and a beautiful cover as well. So, if you haven't heard this band, um, go and check them out. Uh, Hibernus Mortis. As I said, I talked about the tape uh, a while back, so I'm not gonna go into this either. Pretty cool uh, center labels, and of course, the obvious strip that you always get with Blood Harvest. Another killer label, and uh, finally, all of this I've also talked about before. Uh, so, coasts. Uh, yeah, what's the name of this album? Uh, Crepitation of uh, Phlegaton. Another killer. I would say these are kind of brutal in a way. Brutal death metal. With Mr. Stubbs, uh, everybody knows this as well, so I'm not gonna say much. But um, yeah, I, I did buy it on CD first because uh, there was a lot, a lot of delays with uh, Everlasting Stew vinyls a while, so I bought a lot of them on CD, and later on I get them on vinyl as well. Double dipping is um, a disease, but. Uh, yeah, a coast. So that was all. Go and uh, you know give um, Parallax Occlusion a uh, nice farewell and buy them the uh, new compilation Vapor Chamber out on the Murti. Hope they uh, rethink their um, stopping playing, but what to do? And um, they have given us a lot of good music, so um, thanks for that. Guys, thanks for watching, and uh, I would, uh, I don't know where my next video will come, uh, I, I will um, have surgery on my uh, second knee now, uh, on Thursday, so um, there might not be a much video in the near future for me, but I will watch your videos anyway, so uh, we will uh, keep, keep in touch, so I don't know when my next video will be up, it might take a couple of weeks, but um, you will do fine without me. Thanks as always for watching. Be sure.